Uh, the biggest implications are um, the Diabetic Retinopathy Clinical Research Network, uh, in their study on Protocol S, they showed that uh, anti-VEGF injections, particularly uh, ranibizumab, uh, were a viable alternative to panretinal photocoagulation for the management of uh, PDR, proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Uh, in that study, uh, over a course of two years, uh, generally speaking, throughout the course of this study, visual acuities were a little better in eyes that were treated with anti-VEGF agents, and by the end of two years, the uh, visual acuities remained stable enough to say that there was no inferiority in treating those patients with lucentis. Throughout the course of this study, we did find that patients who were treated with injections versus laser had uh, fewer vitrectomies, fewer incidents of retinal detachments and vitreous hemorrhages, and uh, we wanted to look at what were the factors that kind of maybe were associated with that. And so we did you know, an analysis of the data and we found that uh, in eyes that had more severe retinopathy, uh, whether they were treated with laser or with injections, they were at a higher risk of developing um, the complications of proliferative diabetic retinopathy, including vitreous hemorrhages, retinal detachments, and the need for vitrectomy surgery. When we, when we compared those groups throughout the course of the study, the risk factors were similar between the two, uh, although the eyes that got laser had actually a little better baseline uh, diabetic retinopathy severity. So when we adjusted for the retinopathy severity for those eyes, that the differences between the two groups were even more significant, which means that the eyes that received injections had a little, had a more significantly reduced rate of diabetic retinopathy complications.